Let's see how we can add Crosswalk to a Cordova project using Visual Studio. By adding Crosswalk, our app will use the latest Chromium runtime. This will increase performance and include newer features such as WebGL support. Before you start, if you are doing this to an existing project, be sure you are checked into source control or back up your project somewhere, just in case something goes wrong. Note that these instructions are for CTP3 of Visual Studio Tools for Cordova. In later versions, these steps will probably change. You need to download the Crosswalk packages. If you go to crosswalkproject.org, go to the download section, and you will want the Cordova Android zips. You will need a physical Android device for this process. Let's begin by creating a new Cordova project in Visual Studio. And I'm going to use the blank app template. I'm going to change my target to the Android device. And I'm using MobyZen so that you can see my device screen. I'm going to go ahead and run this basic template. Now that our app is running, if we switch to Chrome and we enter in Chrome slash slash inspect, we can see that the version of Chrome on our web view inside the Android device is only at version 33. This is going to lack a lot of performance and functionality improvements, including WebGL support. Let's go back to Visual Studio. And in the Solution Explorer, we'll stop debugging and let's do Show All Files. We're going to be adding some files into the res native Android subfolder. Any files we drop in here will be included in the package that Visual Studio creates when we build the project. Let's first make a copy of the Android manifest file because we're going to make a couple of tweaks to that. We'll go to Build, Debug, platforms, Android, and we'll just copy that. And that's going to go right into our res native Android subfolder. And we can right click that and include it in the project. We're going to open up that manifest file and we have to add in a couple of permissions. We're going to do that just before the application node. So the two permissions are access Wi-Fi and access network, and these are required by Crosswalk. Next in that same Android subfolder under res native, we're going to add a new folder, and we're going to name this Cordova Lab. And now we need the contents of the crosswalk packages we downloaded from the website. We'll start inside the ARM version. So if you go into that archive and go under the framework directory, we're going to copy all of this to our Cordova lab. You can right click in here and open the folder. And we're going to paste that, all those contents in there. Next we need the version file. I'm going to go up one folder, so I'm in res native Android. And back in the archive, I'm going to go up and take the version file, and I'm going to copy that into the Android directory. If we want to include x86 support as well, we can do that in a single package. Inside the folder for x86, we'll go to the framework, XWAP core library, libs, and we're going to just copy the x86 folder. That goes into our res native Android Cordova lib, XWAP core library, libs, and it's going to sit right next to the ARM version of the libraries. Back in Solution Explorer, let's make sure we include all of these files in our project. 
So we're just going to select everything and include in project. Now we need to build the crosswalk libraries. We only need to do this once, but it is a process we do from the command line. Let's right click the Android folder and open that in Explorer. And if we shift and right click Cordova Live, we can open a command window inside the res native Android Cordova Live subfolder. From here, we're going to issue a couple of commands. I'm going to paste in the first command, which is to update the project to target Android 19. Next, we need to build, and to do that, we're just going to do ant debug. At the end, we should see a build successful. Let's make sure we close any of these open dialogues because Visual Studio is going to attempt to delete some of those folders when we rebuild. Now let's do a rebuild of our solution. And let's go ahead and hit F5 to run the project on the device. You will see this ugly error if you try to debug. Currently, Visual Studio's debugger cannot attach to a crosswalk-enabled application but we'll see how we can use Chrome DevTools to do basic debugging. We can see through MobiZen that our application is running. Back in Chrome, if we go to Inspect, we can see that our version of Chromium is now up to a much newer version. Uh, this version will allow us to use WebGL, and have great performance improvements as well. To debug our app, we can just click the inspect link and we can see we can explore the pages and sources and also you will see in the console if there are any errors you will see them listed here so that's handy for debugging.